Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In the last video, we already learned about how to place a navigation drawer in a layout. In this video, here I am going to show you how to place menus to this navigation drawer. So first here I am going to place some vector resources to the drawable folder. Uh, here I have some vector resources, camera gallery, slideshow and tools. So I copy these resources. Now I am going to place it inside the drawable folder. Okay, these resources are icons for the menus. <coughs> Here we have a camera icon, gallery icon, uh, slideshow and tools. Okay. So now we can create the menu. So for placing menus on a navigation drawer, you have to create a separate menu XML file. So uh, right click the resource folder and create a new Android resource file. Here I name it as drawer menu. And specify the resource type as menu. So here inside the resource folder, there is a new folder is created called menu that contain our menu resource file. <coughs> so first here I'm going to specify a group. And specify the checkable behavior into single so that the user can select only one item at a time so now we can add the items for the menu so here I already create the needed menu items So in this group here I place four menu items first one is import with uh, a camera icon second one is a gallery option third one is slideshow and last one is tools so here we have four menu items now we are going to add this menu items to this navigation drawer so here each item contain three attributes ID icon and title so now we can <coughs> add these menus to the navigation drawer so open activity main.xml so here is our navigation view so for adding menus to the navigation view we need an additional xml namespace with value apk resource order here i already create that one with identifier name app so by using that newly created xml namespace we can specify menu for the navigation drawer so here the menu available on this file called the drawer menu that file available inside the menu folder okay so here we successfully place a menu to the navigation drawer so we can check it so i run the project okay here our application available on this virtual device so we can open the navigation drawer and here you can see now the menus are available on the navigation drawer now i'm going to show you how to handle the click events of these menu items so when you sir, click the menu items we have to perform some action and at the same time we have to close this uh, drawer layout so go to the main activity first we have to create some variables first i need a variable for the drawer layout now we need some variables for navigation view so now we can initialize these two variables drawer layout Now we can initialize navigation view. Okay. So here I'm going to display some message when user select an item from the menu for display message. Here I'm going to create a separate method. So this method needs one parameter. So here I am going to display the message using a toast. Uh, display message. Now specify duration. And finally make it visible. Okay. So <clears throat> in order to <coughs> handle the click events of a navigation drawer items, you have to override, you have to implement some interface. 
so navigation view dot set on navigation item selected listener here you need to implement the interface called on navigation item selected listener so in that interface we have, a, we have an abstract method called on navigation item selected that method has only one parameter that is an object of menu item so by using this object we can identify which item is actually selected by the user so in order to identify which item is selected by the user here i'm going to use a switch statement switch case statement <coughs> so by using the menu item object you can call this method called get item id so now we can check each condition so first i check whether it is camera in that case first thing we have to highlight the selected item uh, so item dot set set checked into true this will highlight the selected item now we need to display the message so call this method display message import import selected okay so after user select an item we have to close the drawer layout so simply call the drawer layout and you can call this method close drawers this will close the drawer layout and finally we can return true so now here i am going to implement other cases so here i implement all the cases so now we can test our application so i run the project so here the project available on this virtual device i open the navigation drawer select one item and now i select import import option so now i select gallery and here you can see that soon after user select an item the drawer layout will close so this is how we add menu items and how to handle the menu items click events on a navigation drawer. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.